Thank you very much. So I'm just going to leave the first slide to explain the slight uh, context of this. So as uh, all of you also, we in a university as researchers, PhD students had the problem in uh, COVID pandemics. So when it comes, I'm an architect, when it comes to a heritage and general uh, using an open street map, you know the open street map is not made to hold these data. But we have relied on these open data and open source um, uh, softwares. So we had a big problem uh, since our main, uh, let's say, goal and the beginning of any research of an architect, especially working with a heritage, is a basic statistical analysis. So understanding the density of your urban core and your history. So we had a um, very simple... Um, is it working? Okay, we had a very simple test. Uh, we had the students online and we tested different open uh, uh, data from uh, different um, uh, OSM and also from uh, Geoport of Lombardy. And as you can see, the students realized that downloading them in a different way through the QGIS or downloading it with the Overpass Turbo, we got uh, different types of data. So sometimes we got lines, sometimes we got uh, with the different metadata, different even type of the data itself. And um, as you can see, something official and administrative data as a geoport of Lombardia was uh, the most accurate. But we have a problem there. Those data are officially, sometimes they're really old and they are not very going into a time with this fragile architecture that we have and actually that is changing really fast. So we had the first phase and second phase. First phase is how we can enrich those data. Sometimes we miss these ground control points to georeference the 3D models. So those are really simple things, but sometimes the geometries were missing. So how we can extract to using the QGIS integrated tools or using the Python console and how we can represent uh, given data. So can we actually obtain everything in a free open source software or we need uh, some help? So we use different um, integrated tools and uh, they behave in a different ways. They provided some certain uh, geometrical information we needed and sometimes they just didn't have any information so they weren't from help or from a second part, uh, so it's a very simple for a student that doesn't know how to use a code, doesn't know how to obtain data. And for the second one, we, we run a very simple Python code and we shared it in a, a Py, uh, Python QGIS console and to obtain, let's say, a, a table of information. As a conclusion, we have a different set of, um, let's say, differences between those two things. Uh, is while that building geometry tool, it's very easy to use. You don't have to know something. You just click one button, but uh, it's not flexible. We cannot filter so easily. There is no such a control uh, as much as we have with the Python script. Uh, then we have a presentation of the data, so we do can have extract the table and we can use it in another program, so we can use it for a simple statistical analysis. If it comes to the plots tool or data plotly, which is basically used in a QGIS, we have a graphs which are interactive but through the HTML uh, link and uh, they are not providing, again, very big flexibility. So what we did, we wrote a code, we shared among students in uh, Replit, which is a free and online shared uh, information uh, app, uh, coding app, so we could be able to share the, let's say, uh, we could share the project, so we can see what they are doing, the way how they are changing the code and so on, so we could collaborate, it's still a free, uh, source online. So here we could have many more statistical information, how many percentage of this specific category of this specific town there is. And since the groups are distributed in a different case studies, that was actually very useful that all the groups of all the students can see what somebody else is doing, which is not the case with the QGIS, since it's uh, just uh, in your desktop computer. So. Uh, it provided, a again, the results were different. Some of them were, with the Replit, of course, more flexible as the code is the something that you're using, uh, real-time sharing, uh, medium difficult use, especially if you're already provided a code. 
uh, there is adjustable order, so there is a lot of um, numerical values can be calculated in many different ways. While in uh, plugin data plotly, there is a field calculator, and in a plot tool, there is no such a flexibility of such a big variety and range of. Uh, so, in just to mention for the last thing, like I know the OSM is not provided for the the heritage, but let's say th these little informations that we had actually were helpful. And uh, people, the data are much newer than from the administration because the process is really, really long. So the people actually had some, the case study was Monza for this particular paper, had this information, let's say fallen wall, which is very important and immediately gives the report on the state of this very fragile and misused or wrongly used uh, uh, architecture. Thank you.